This is Dr. Brandon Erickson. I wanted to talk to you today briefly about meniscal repair surgery and what to expect after the surgery and what to expect a little bit before. Now, meniscus repair essentially involves a few poke holes the size of my finger where we go into the knee, we look around the entire knee, and then if we see a tear in the meniscus that looks like it can be fixed, we fix this using an all inside technique. Occasionally, we have to make a small incision to fix the meniscus, but oftentimes we can do this just through a couple of poke holes and some very nice slick devices that we can use to fix the meniscus back to where it belongs. Now the meniscus is the she-shaped piece of cartilage. You have one on the inside and one on the outside of your knee. And you wanna keep the meniscus function intact as best we can because it helps prevent arthritis and it helps stabilize the knee. It actually has a lot of functions in the knee. So if you have a tear in the meniscus and it involves a large portion of the meniscus, we don't wanna take that out. We wanna to try to fix that so that you preserve the function of your meniscus. Now, the surgery itself takes about 45 minutes to complete, and it's done as an outpatient procedure. You come and go home the same day. And we use a nerve block to help with your pain afterwards, and that gives you about 8 to 10 hours of pain relief. Now, after surgery, you're going to wake up with a big bulky bandage on your knee. That stays on for about 3 days, and that can come off after 3 days. And then you'll see the poke holes that, again, are about the size of my finger. You can shower normally, let these poke holes get wet, that's okay, and then you just cover them with a bandage afterwards. You don't need to put the big bulky dressing back on. Now you're also gonna wake up after surgery with a long brace on your leg. And the purpose of this brace is to restrict your range of motion to a certain degree, because we don't want you bending the knee completely after surgery, because we wanna protect that meniscus repair. In the same vein, I don't let you put full weight on the knee after surgery with this. The reason is because the blood supply to the meniscus is not very good, and so we have to give that repair the best chance to heal. The way to give that repair the best chance to heal is to not have you stress it in the immediate post-operative period. So, we restrict your weight bearing, so we have you use some crutches, and then we have you start therapy at about two weeks after surgery to start working on your range of motion of your knee. You can start doing this on your own at first, but I want a therapist to help you out after that. I don't have you put weight on the knee until we get to about the four week mark, and then we have you start putting some weight on the knee and progress to full weight bearing by around the six week mark. Now, after you can start putting full weight on it, you'll have the brace on for another week or two until your quad muscle really comes back and is firing well. Once the quad muscle comes back, we'll have you out of the brace. Now, the goal after the surgery is to get you back to doing all the activities you wanted to do beforehand. We usually have you running and jogging by about three and a half months after the surgery, and then we have you back to cutting and pivoting sports by somewhere around five to six months, depending on how your recovery goes. Now, I also mentioned that you'll have this nerve block done at surgery. You'll also go home with some anti-inflammatories, Tylenol, as well as a narcotic pain medicine after surgery. The purpose of the anti-inflammatory and the Tylenol are to take those first if you have pain. And I want you to take them scheduled for the first few days. I want you to minimize the amount of narcotics that you take. So the hope is that by using the anti-inflammatory and the Tylenol, you won't need much, if any, narcotic at all. Now, of course, my physician's assistant and I are always available if you have any questions about surgery, either before or afterwards. But I hope this video helps answer some common questions that you might have. Have a nice day.